Okay, hi everyone. So tight, everything. Oh. Okay. No, it's fine now. Everyone hear me okay? Nice for you to all be here. Sorry I'm a little bit uh, late. Got caught in a bit of traffic. Uh, so there, that's what made me late. Let's just get my notes. So uh, this is going to be the recap then of last night's uh, round table with Ash Mufara. Uh, I have to say, if you haven't watched it yet, uh, go into the back office, into updates. Marty has very kindly put uh, the recordings there. He was on for nearly two hours. And also uh, Peter Sarur, as well as an excellent recap as well in the back office for all to see. Uh, absolutely packed with information. Really, really was uh, packed from head to toe with um, updates. Uh, it's the clearest picture of where we are in the launches, launching post, uh, process. And this is what I'm going to be going, um, going to be uh, going over today and hopefully be able to break down uh, what Ash had to say into kind of bite-sized chunks uh, uh, as well. So, uh, first of all, then, uh, Ash came on and he said that we have a new uh, on passive website now, and this is available in your back office under links uh, number 51. And that is the one that is personalized uh, to you. So, look in that, and this is the replicated on passive uh, website. Uh, this is a big deal, guys. It really, really is because uh, this is the start of the renewal of every uh, two weeks. It's going to be then every week and then obviously uh, a couple of times a week and then every day. This is getting us all geared up and ready for the main launch. And so we are heading in, in the right direction. So if you have a look at that replicated link, link 51 in your back office, uh, it really is fantastic. You know, I said uh, earlier this week that the careers.onpassive.com uh, site, website that we have out there as well, that's still getting worked on in the background, but fantastic. Absolutely crystal clear, really good videos, been well formatted together. And this is more and more of the feel that we are getting now with our website. So that was one of the things he brought up. Now, we all knew about the event that's meant to be taking place on the 28th of May. This is the next sort of big event that we have as a company uh, earmarked. Now, one of the key people who is involved in this event, he didn't say the person's name, but their mother is critically ill condition at the moment. So uh, we are obviously keeping this person in our prayers, but it looks like this might have to be postponed to maybe even till September. Now, this doesn't affect where we are. It doesn't affect in the process that we are going through at the moment just that one uh thing that was happening on the 28th of may uh is going to be put back uh, this is just one of the marketing campaigns guys that we have in the list uh so they'll be switching things around a little bit uh, uh, uh because that's probably not going to happen and do something different on or around the 28th anyway uh because many of us have got that date earmarked now, in regards to uh, the Burj Khalifa and what we saw throughout the whole of April, um, we don't want to continue to promote O founders. Why? For obvious reasons, because that period of looking for new founders in on passive is, quite frankly, coming to an end. Uh, so there's no point in run, running these types of campaigns. This really is for brand recognition, trust in the company, reputation and all the rest of it. And this will take us into the next phase. Are we going to see uh, more uh, stuff on the Burj Khalifa? Yeah, we are. We've paid for some advertising to be done there. And I am sure we will be told when it will be done. So we are not pausing anything over in uh, Dubai at all. And we are working on this next phase, which we will find out very shortly. It will be a completely new uh, visual that we'll have on there. Uh, 
maybe one more time, he said, uh, for the founder's position, but that's probably about going to be it. And after that, uh, you'll not, you will not see uh, the founder's permission, the founder's position promoted uh, in any new campaigns in the future. What does that mean between the lines? We are pretty close uh, now to that position being finalised and stopped uh, forever. Uh, really, really good news, in my opinion. Uh, you know, we we uh, have always uh, accepted the process, trusted the process of where we are. Uh, Ash really has now kept us in the loop of where we are moving and how we are moving forward. And this is just part of uh, what he is letting us know as much as he possibly can. Obviously, he has said in the past as well that he will divulge more information to us, the founders, once that founder's position has been closed and he can open up a little bit more about uh, what it means as a benefit to us as founders. Uh, he then went on to talk about the campaign that was meant to be running this weekend in India. Now, it was also Mother's uh, Day on Sunday, so this was postponed, but it wasn't just for that reason. Um, there's been some, not all, but some uh, leaders and founders in India who have really not been behaving themselves properly, uh, in all honesty. They've been charging people to go to the events that have been earmarked and uh, run in India across the whole of the uh, states that are over there. And there is going to be or there was going to be at least 33 uh, locations to include 30 in India, two in Pakistan and one in Bangladesh. And to charge people uh, to enter these events that is being completely paid for by the company. By the way, this was not acceptable. So Ash and the legal guys have had a word with the people that are involved and they have assured them that any monies that was taken uh, is going to be refunded. Now, Ash actually wants to see the physicalities of this uh, before he is going to allow uh, this campaign in India to take place. Uh, but uh, they have assurances that it is all going to be rectified and uh, put that. So he said this in the event is not about profits or getting uh, any rate of investment back for the founders. Uh, th this is not going to happen in any way, shape or form. This is something the company are doing for the company, for exposure and uh, all the rest of it. So if anybody who is watching this now has paid any money for any of these Indian campaigns. And this goes for Obless as well, guys. Uh, please contact either uh, your sponsor or one of the leadership council members that uh, you have paid, and we will then escalate it and make sure that you get your money back because um, this is a no-no as far as the company. We want to work ethically. We want to work with uh, responsibility for our corporation. Uh, so for this event in India, it's now time to set uh, it right. Uh, and this is not going to be happening until all the money's returned uh, and nobody is out of pocket. So that's just a footnote uh, for what happened in India. Uh, so really, this is for internal and external purposes. And everyone needs to follow these guidelines uh, that are there. But one thing is for sure, nobody will be out of pocket. That includes the people that might have footed bills for things and for also uh, founders that might have paid to go to it. So please remember, the company will not ask you for any money uh, for anything. The only time that you will have to pay any more money and you will be given due notice is to activate your accounts. Anything else, don't pay. It's as simple as that. And if you're not sure, Contact one of the leadership council and they will clarify uh, anything that you want to. Uh, they've also said that we've got more compliance employees and legal teams on the payrolls. Uh, so they are sorting out all this sort of thing as well. Uh, the only thing we have ever asked you as a founder to do is to pay your $97 to become a founder and then really nothing else. Uh, even if you've been with us for, for three years or more, uh, like I have, we have not asked you to pay any more money. If you can't wait or you're anxious about how things are going, he said at any point, anybody can still get a full refund. In fact, he actually went on to say that, do you know something? 
if you want a hundred dollars back, we'll actually give you the hundred rather than ninety-seven with a kiss, and you can go on your way. It really is time to start taking your business seriously, and part of that is to relax into the process of where we are. There really has been a lot of uh, uh, forward um, momentum at the moment with on passive. Uh, we really have been stacking the cool as far as what's been going on behind the scenes. He went on then to say uh, about a little bit about his son, Omar, and he was talking to him the other day. Uh, uh, and he really is on board with the Obless uh, theme and about supporting and helping other people. And his thing really was about orphans. Now, obviously, when we think about Obless, we think about helping people financially in, in all sorts of of other ways, but there's a lot more to Obless than just raising money for people. Uh, Omar had a great idea about how he can support uh, orphans, and that's not just about uh, finances. But he will be—he's talking about O Junior. If you remember that Ash talked about the the whole world, not only on passive, our future is in this younger generation's hands, and to be able to have somewhere which. Uh, on passive is setting up called O Junior, where they can basically let their minds uh, run free uh, in innovation, in uh, playing and organizing things. This is one of the ideas that Omar uh, is having. And obviously, we'll find out more uh, about this. And he actually went on to say that if my son has got these ideas of wanting to help people with O Bless, there is absolutely no way. Not only am I going to not let him down, but I'm also not going to let you guys down as well. He said in regards to the Burj Khalifa, uh, even in 2023, we'll still be doing stuff uh, out there in Dubai as well. Uh, and he said that's actually June, July of 2023 that it's paid for. Uh, so that contract is there. It's done. So we will be seeing more adverts in one way, shape or form on the front of the Burj Khalifa. So that's great news. I wasn't sure uh, of how it, things were going, but to have that clarification really, really uh, is good news. So just make sure that we are staying on course. We have the plan in place. We have the strategy in place. We are testing, stabilizing and then scaling out. Once we scaled out, we then go back to testing, stabilize that and then scale out. What does this do? It really does build that foundation strong and wide for us to put the next layer on, the next layer, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of companies, as we well know, get too big too quickly without stabilizing things. What happens? All falls down. It crashes. So next, we will start uh, going into the selling phase. Now, this was big, big news. We've been talking about the founder's position. We've been talking about uh, the process of the launching and et cetera. But he actually started mentioning that the next phase will be selling. And he actually said he can't wait to get his teeth into it. It's been a long time since he was actually selling. He said the on passive products and services that we have right now in our ecosystem are so easy to sell. He said they are stupidly easy to sell. He cannot wait to get out there and start doing his thing. At the end of the day, this is what we've paid for. We absolutely suck at marketing. We suck at selling. We suck at recruiting and all the rest of it. This is why we are here in on passive for the company and Ash Mufara to do their thing on our behalf. He said the new on passive website is going to be revamped every two weeks, as I said, then every week. And then it'll get to a point uh, of the new website each and every day. And this will all be coded to us. The websites that you're seeing now is completely SEO uh, integrated. This means with the search engine and optimization, that's all coded in and it's completely replicated for you at no extra charge, he went on to add. We will treat you like royalty, like partners. Now, I already feel like that. I don't know about you guys, but what I have got for my $97 so far is just mind boggling. I've never been part of anything uh, for that's changed my life so much already before I've actually uh, seen any of those apples. It, it's uh, really has been uh, 
uh, mind-boggling for me that little old me is part of something that is so big. And I'm sure you guys uh, feel the same. And he said, I think we outgrew uh, what we were three years ago from that network and MLM mentality to where we are now with this global company, with the resources, with the managerials, with the products, with the services, with the ecosystem to where we are now. We are a long, long, long way down this new path than we were when we started way back in 2018. Uh, what we expect of you as a founders, uh, okay, we expect you to outgrow the mini me and team mentality. What does he mean by that? He says that it is all about not me, 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 I, I, I. It is about we, 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 and us, a collective, a, a, a group of individuals with this movement of on passive. We should treat it as if it is a unicorn company already. Already, Not in a million years did he think uh, that, y- y- that we are going to be involved in a company like this for just $97. He said, if anybody ever wants their money back, it's there for you and you can have it. It's not a problem at all. Uh, part of this is what he expects from us as founders. And we expect founders to behave accordingly. And that means... Uh, treat it like a business, treat it respectfully, treat other people respectfully. We will do all the work. Uh, We are ethical, we're legal, we are global, and we want to reflect on how you behaved uh, as in good character. He wants us as founders to be proud of our position within on passive. All he can do is his part with the company. It really is up to us as founders to do our part as founders and partners of on passive we should treat it like a business we should be respectful of it and above all what we shouldn't do is allow anybody else to diss it to bad mouth it uh, and to use defamation of character uh, as well he went on to say about his son again he's eight at the moment and just imagine 12 years from now he'll be 20 and he wants him to have a better life because of on passive of what we are doing right now, uh, today. Nobody can stop us. It's already done. That ecosystem is there. We are now looking at other things. He went on to say then, by Friday, there's a lot, isn't there? Uh, By Friday, we are going to give you the exact date of the launching and completion of our first data center. Now, this is big, big news, guys, because he went on to say uh, that they've actually been testing mul- multiple regions of the data centers, plural, okay, since November of last year. They've done about seven or so uh, different tests along the period uh, to where we are now. But this one data center, okay, that we have is going to be mind boggling. Uh, just before I go into the data center, he said that they've always been, they have also been working on the admin stroke C panel of the O founders back office. Uh, we've been testing all this and it's going fine. So we might see a new panel in the O founders back office very, very start, uh, shortly. They're going to start in one country and then expand out that, uh, out that for all of the founders. Now, going back to this data center, the one that we have already, the one we're going to find out on Friday when it's going to uh, to be launched to us. But this one in its home has the capacity to accommodate one billion people. And that is one billion people running multiple applications or products all at the same time. Now, he gave the analogy of Marty DeGarmo. Uh, who is on a Zoom. Uh, He has also got uh, OSTAF open and he is also chatting on ONET all at the same time. It has the capacity for somebody and everybody of those 1 billion to be doing all of that. And that is unlimited. Remember that, guys. Everything about OnPassive is unlimited. So he said, let's say 20 of the products of OnPassive are all used at the same time. It won't even blink when that is happening. That is how big this data center is. This is how much work has gone into it behind the scenes. Now, he said 
Do we need to have that? Well, probably not. We don't. But he wants it. And if he wanted it, it has to be done. Was it a pain to get all that coding correct, to get everything uh, sorted so that it would take that capacity? Yeah, it was a lot of hard work. But he felt it was necessary and needed and it made him feel a lot more comfortable and better to have it like that rather than get into a stage when we all start using it. What happens? Site unavailable because it is crashed because everybody is using it all at the same time. As they say, the five P's, prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. Okay, this is what it's all about. As they say, uh, prepare to fail. Uh, if you don't prepare, uh, was it uh, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. This is what we've been doing all the time in on passive is making sure every single part of it is looked at. Every single part of it is tested prior to us launching. Why? Because we want everybody, including founders, including customers, including resellers, uh, to have the best possible experience from on passive. That's why we are doing it. He said, I don't joke, just go the extra mile. I go all the way because we are on passive. And we have seen that time and time and time. Uh, he went on then to talk about the innovation labs. Remember, guys, these innovation labs are for physical products. They're not for what we already have. OK, so what is available as a digital product and services in on passive? Uh, the innovation labs is nothing to do with that. This is for physical products. And we are testing these products right now. Uh, in fact, two of them have been demoed already. Uh, the demo type products and they have been successfully tested and passed. And the engineers who make these demo products and test them so that we can then go to the next stage of those, which is then prototype and then mass production. How long that period of time is, I don't know, but it's certainly not going to be shortly. This has a time to process through. Uh, we have to, in fact, he went on to say, sometimes we have to test it and keep these running for anything up to six months to get the approval, not only from us, the company, but from everyone else as well. Then we have to actually protect these products by uh, copywriting them, all this sort of stuff. The legalities have to go through, the patenting process, et cetera, et cetera. These products are on a completely another level. They are just these two, by the way. These are like Edison with his light bulb and Ford Motor Company, the Wright brothers. These are how big a deal these products. He actually went on to say that one of these products he estimates that every single person on the planet will have a reason to use it. Big deal, that is. And we're part of all that, guys. So the innovation labs are already done. We will have multiple labs uh, in different locations. Uh, no need to disclose those because it really doesn't matter uh, where they'll be. All we need to know is that they are there. They are testing, they are developing, et cetera, et cetera, with all the brainiacs that are out there who have been given basically free reign to have their ideas, inventions to uh, come to fruition. Everything is happening simultaneously, he said. Right at this moment, we've got multiple innovation labs, multiple data centers. These are all being checked and the train definitely has left the station. It's happening already. For anybody who's quit, still asking, when's soft launch? When's main launch? You really need to get up to speed with where we are in this process. We are in that launching process right now. You can tell by everything that is going on around us that it really is only a matter of a very short period of time before we go on to the next stage. He then mentioned Elon Musk. He came on to say that uh, he's heard that Elon Musk is talking about the energy aspect of Tesla. Now they're trying to reach the point where they have sustainable energy from solar and wind that can produce up to uh, 0.1 terawatts of energy, which is like 100 gigawatts per hour. I don't know how much that is really, but it sounds a lot, doesn't it? Anything that's got a, a giga or a terra in it, it, 
it's more than a light bulb, that's for sure. Uh, this, he reckons, will be up and running uh, round 2030 to 2040 type of things. And he actually went on to say that he has so much adm admiration for Elon Musk, not just because of him as a person, but because of what he is doing as a businessman, what he is trying to do for the planet, what he is, where he is thinking outside of that box. He really is breaking that mold and making his own mold. And I think you can see the similarities between Ash Mufara and Elon Musk. Well, I certainly can anyway, that these guys are very, very similar in their ideology. Uh, they're driven by the passion of new inventions and new ideas and not by money. And this is such a refreshing thing to see uh, in, um, in, you know, with these guys having th this ability. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, these guys actually don't even know each other. I have no idea. But in the future, I wouldn't be surprised if we see pictures of these guys uh, together. He said, uh, I'm going to give you an example of what uh, on passive a couple of years ago and what it is now. Think about on passive uh, two, three years ago. It's like just having a coffee shop. Uh, and I asked you to pay $97 uh, to get some of the profits of that coffee shop. But now that coffee shop is a big size. It's the size of Amazon in concept size. It's massive but you're still only paid $97. And now you're a founder of this amazing unicorn company. Uh, we're about to put founders' positions to sleep. On passive, uh, is delivered and it is delivering what we have promised, plus a lot, lot more. Going back to Elon Musk, he said that if Elon Musk finds out what we are developing right now, he said, when you're in a room with him, he said, you'll be at the table and he will be the butler with his suit on serving you. That's how much confidence uh, Ashman Farah has got in what we are developing at the moment. Uh, the digital products of the ecosystem have no connection with this next phase. Remember, what did he promise us? He promised us a ecosystem where everything is in one place. Everything is what under one roof with sign up for digital products and services. We haven't decided yet, he went on to say, if we are going to include the new things uh, within them or not. This is entirely up to him to decide. Uh, do I have the desire to share with every founder? Yeah, he did. But make no mistake, he went on to say, I can share the love with every, every, anyone I want to. His obligation is to us as founders for the ecosystem and digital products and services. He said, think about this for a minute. We are over 1 million founders now. In fact, we're 1 million 300,000 I saw today. Just imagine after a year, we are 2 million founders, which is so conservative. But let's just take this analogy. Then you are 50% of the company straight off the bat. But what if we grew by 10 million? Okay. Uh, in that uh, first year, okay? Uh, and after 10 years, we were 100 million resellers and customers. Now you're just 1% of that company. Now break down that 1% into your time and date stamp. And that gives you an idea of how high and far up within the company you guys are. How we are going to get paid after on passive pays out for all of their costs, this is products, inventions, creations, employees, global leaders, expenses, etc. Then the leftover is going to go to the founders. Those who came to us first, i.e. as in time stamps, uh, they are going to be the next people in the levels. And then it will go down and down and down and so on. So really that time stamp is a big deal. And then after, don't forget that the people that came with their heart and that they have put something into on passive, they'll be recognized as well. Even if they have had limited abilities, if they have been there, they have been doing all the right things, like every single person is here now on this Zoom, every single guy here are doing the right thing. You will be recognized. We, don't, we do know who you are. Now, make no mistake, this is not about one person divvying out money uh, to the founders 
whoever he likes. He is. He, he went on to say, and I'll just mention this part first. Uh, he went on to say, now, if you remember and cast your mind back, he, were, he was talking about having mathematicians in place who were going to work everything out for him in a coded way. That is still exactly the same going to happen. When he's got all this information, when he knows exactly what it's going to cost him, and I believe this will be when we have the data center because it means they're not paying out to um, Amazon, to AWS services. We know what our X's are. We know the running costs. We know wages, employees, all the rest of it. Then he will then invite the 12 mathematicians to look at the pay structure of our passive because what he wants to make sure is that it is affordable for the company. And he is also giving us, the founders, the highest amount of return that he possibly can, making sure that the company is in the right place. So this is not about uh, inviting people. It's not about uh, who he likes the most. This is always and has been. Uh, the founders would also be the first to be paid. Uh, the mathematicians are going to work out the CPAs, the attorneys, the auditors. They're all going to look at the numbers. And once they have the figures and they are 100 percent sure it's going to work, then they will go with it for sure. And they will make sure that every single founder we is going to be successful. So it, it is a mathematical equation. Uh, everything gets divided divid up uh, equally and correctly, as it should do from what we were told all the way back from years ago. Uh, but there's also going to be other criteria as well, which is timestamp, which is uh, people who have been active, which is people who have turned up, people who are all sorts of things uh, that are out there. Uh, we Those are extras that uh, the company will decide above and beyond of what our uh, right, I suppose, uh, is, as a founder should be. Uh, he went on to say, then I can share as much as I want with trusted leaders that don't leak anything. And we can sit and talk about this over a meal. Uh, we've made sure that all is legal in every single country. Uh, let's, let's, he said, just imagine if we then add this next phase to that bucket of the on passive that will go to founders. He said, it's absolutely mind blowing. Like he said, he hasn't made his mind up yet uh, what, how that's all going to work or what it all, is all going to be doing. He had a little bit of a, a dig as well about uh, any of the uh, people that are listening, not only to this, but to Ash Mufar himself. Uh, if you're a non founder and you're listening to it like this, you really are just an annoying bug on our back. He said, We don't have to worry about you, we know where we are going. Uh, we have the legal right to be here and you will so, so very shortly feel the full weight of the on passive legal scene. Pay no mind to these people uh, or pay uh, a few. He said, pay no mind to these people. They are nothing. Uh, he also went on to say that the points that I've mentioned with commentators, people do YouTubes, etc., Obviously, they're very important as well as far as that. Uh, he said there should be a selected uh, big event coming up. And obviously, any of the global leaders uh, that are very lucky to go, that will be notified in due course. He wants to have two or three more in the USA uh, before we go into the next stage. So obviously, we will get um, uh, the feedback for that. Uh, he said, please keep in mind that the system and the coding uh, does not differentiate the extras. It doesn't pick and choose by, may, by name. It is all put in coding and the uh, system knows who these people are. So it's not a case of, oh, I like this guy better than the other guy at all. If you have been there, you've been doing stuff, you will be known by the system. And obviously you will be reciprocated because of your efforts. Uh, so just need to make that very crystal clear to everybody who's listening to this. OK, uh, that that is how it's going to work. 
He also went on to say, as far as money is concerned, uh, he doesn't want uh, anything left in the on passive account from his end. What you do with your money is entirely up to you. If you want to leave it in your wallets, you can do. Uh, obviously, it's yours and it's up to you where you put it. You can leave it in your wallet or you can withdraw it. Uh, he also then had a little footnote uh, about Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson. Uh, he has actually got the potential to be the next Mother Teresa, with or without on passive. We gave him the platform to come out of his shell, to be give, to give him uh, the idea where he can be this loving, caring person, which he certainly is. Oh, bless is just a very small part of that. If on passive wasn't here, Ash Mufara is so very uh, certain that he would still come out and be uh, that Mother Teresa. He was doing it before on passive. On passive is just giving him the platform to accentuate uh, what he is doing. So that's it. Friday, uh, we will be getting the update about the data center. Very, very excited about that. Um, we've got some great stuff coming. We really have, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm extremely excited about where we are right now. Um, things are going to start happening very, very quickly. Uh, if you're plugged in like you are here, 323 of you. Wow. That's amazing. A record for me. Thank you very much. Um, then you are already plugged in and you will know what is going on. We keep you updated in the back office via your updates. We keep you updated through the webinars that happen nearly on a daily basis. Uh, so please stay plugged in. Very exciting, guys. We are so close now to that finish line of where we want to be. Uh, it really is uh, a privilege to be here, like I say, many, many times. Uh, I believe that Marty's coming on in 15 minutes. He's going to do a recap uh, as well. And then Chris Johnson is coming on after that. Uh, as always, thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to leave me some comments, love to hear from you. Uh, I'll try my hardest to reply back. Uh, if not, I shall see everybody, I think, tonight on the guest webinar. Uh, I've got a message off Marty, which I have to read, so there might be a chance I'll be doing it. If not, remember, tomorrow it's Wednesday. What does Wednesday mean? Yeah, that's it. 360 is on tomorrow. So we'd love to see you on that as well. It'll pop up on this channel, Marty's or um, Bill Must's uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern, which is, sorry, 5 p.m. UK, which is 12 Eastern Standard Time. That's it for me. It's a long one, but man, am I excited. See you later, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. Bye for now.